Travis Kelsey finally breaks his silence on that moment with head coach Andy Reid. And did Beyonce's producer just tease a potential collaboration with Taylor Swift? Hi, welcome to A Quick Look, a pop culture show where I'll be taking you through the biggest headlines in entertainment and current events. I'm Zoe Jewell, and let's get right into the show because there's a lot to cover today. First thing is first. Travis Kelsey, Kansas City Chiefs tight end, just won his third Super Bowl ring, is obviously celebrating, enjoying being Super Bowl champion once again, but he is also having to answer some questions about his behavior on Sunday, especially as it pertains to his head coach, Andy Reid. Now, if you watched the big game on Sunday, you know exactly what I'm talking about, that moment when, and, when, when Travis went over to Andy Reid and yelled in his face and sort of maybe, depending on who you asked, nudged him, pushed him, caused Andy Reid to stumble backwards. A lot of people had a lot of feelings about it at the time that it happened. Whether or not it was a bad moment, an okay moment, an excusable moment, an excusable moment, a lot of people have lots of different feelings about that. But Travis did come out and apologized and explained the situation on his podcast with his brother, Jason Kelsey, New Heights, on Wednesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day, and kind of gave a little context about what happened in that situation and then also uh, apologized to his coach and uh, said that he he was sorry for what happened. So this is kind of what, what went down. If you missed it on Sunday, as I said before, it was a tense moment of the game. Early in the game, Travis was upset that he wasn't in the game for a fumble that ended up happening against the Kansas City Chiefs. And Travis goes over to Andy. And again, everything looks way worse in slow motion. I think everyone needs to understand that. Things look 10 times worse when everything is slowed down and you see every single moment. Now, from my eyes, and I will admit I'm a Chiefs fan, I'm a Travis Kelsey fan, so maybe my perspective is slightly biased. But he goes over and he definitely yells in, in his face and he kind of grabs his arm and it clearly catches Andy Reid off guard because Andy Reid was not really like fully balanced and he kind of ends up sort of stumbling backwards. And it, it looked like Travis like pushed Andy because it caused him to stumble. If you actually watch it, he doesn't push him. He kind of grabs his arm, but he doesn't he doesn't physically shove him or anything. A lot of people have made it out to be like way worse than it actually was. Now, was it a good moment for, for Travis? No. Should he get in the face and scream and yell in the face of his head coach? No. But it's a Super Bowl. It's sports, things happen, emotions run extremely, extremely high. These sorts of things happen. It doesn't make it okay. It doesn't make it like a great thing, but also it's what happened. Like, lest we not forget, Michael Jordan literally punched his teammate, Steve Kerr, in a Bulls practice. Practice, okay? Not, not even like conference championship, NBA finals game. In practice, practice, punched his own teammate. So if you're criticizing Travis Kelsey for this moment, but you love Michael Jordan and think he's the best ever, you know, remember that even the greatest athletes, they have their moments where they slip up, they do something that they shouldn't do. But this is what Travis said um, on his podcast. So Jason Kelsey, his brother said, you crossed a line. I think we can both agree on that. And then Travis said, I I did. I can't get that fired up to the point where it's getting him off balance. When he stumbled, I was just like, oh, blank, in my head. Then Travis continued and said, I'm a passionate guy. I love Coach Reed. Coach Reed knows how much I love to be a product of his coaching career. And then he even went on, Travis even went on to say that if Andy Reed chose to retire after the season, Travis would retire as well. Like that's how much he loves Andy Reed. So this is what this is what he said. I'm not playing for anybody else but Big Red, which is Andy Reid's nickname. If he calls it quits this year, I'm out there with him. I got a certain relationship with him. He's checked me a few times and I just wanted to let him know that I wanted this thing and he can put it on me and I got him. It just came came out 
at a moment when we were when we weren't playing very well and sometimes my emotions get away from me that's been the battle of my career which is true travis has definitely over the course of his career like he gets really intense and really passionate and sometimes his emotions can get the better of him but he's definitely gotten better over the years as he's gotten older at learning how to like manage those those intense moments um and then also andy reed came out even after the game was over in the post game interviews and stuff talking about how much he didn't really read into the moment and he kind of joked about it this is what this is what andy reed even said he didn't know i was going to go that far then he came over and gave me a hug um and uh and he also said um he just wants to be on the field he just wants to play um so if if i feel like if andy can forgive travis if Travis can acknowledge that it wasn't a great moment, I think we can all move on. And uh, I think we don't have to hold it against Travis Kelsey for the rest of his career. Speaking of the Kelseys, I also wanna give a special shout out to the queen, the icon, Miss Kylie Kelsey, who is the wife of Jason Kelsey, who is just amazing, unbelievable. If you are a fan of the Kelsey family, you listen to the podcast, you know how great Kylie Kelsey is. A lot of people were wondering on Sunday, where was Kylie? Because she wasn't really in any of like the post-game videos, photos. She was seen pre-game, but then she kind of disappeared. Well, it turns out that Kylie's superstition got so intense that she literally could not watch the game, not even physically like on on the field she couldn't even allow herself to watch it on the TVs and she shared an Instagram like thing of of her filming one of her friends and she was like I only knew it was happening in the game because I was reading my friend's reaction to the game and then that friend shared a video of Kylie with her back like her back facing the field she was facing a wall just standing there with her arms crossed because she could not bring herself to watch the game. Now, this is the kind of dedication I love to see. Kylie Kelsey, not even a Chiefs fan. She grew up an Eagles fan. She's married to an Eagles player, but obviously her brother-in-law is a Chiefs player. What cared so much and was so invested that she, <laughs> she didn't even allow herself to watch the game. Kylie Kelsey, you are a real one. You are a queen. Chiefs kingdom loves you forever. Thank you for your service. I think we all probably, if you watch the game and you're a Chiefs fan, you probably had your own superstition or thing that you had to do to make you feel like it was going to be the game-changing thing. Um, so to everyone out there who maybe wore a certain shirt or sat in a certain room or didn't watch the game, the, the, the Chiefs owe this Super Bowl to you because you did it for them. Last but certainly not least... Did Beyonce's producer just tease a collaboration with Taylor Swift? Maybe. So here's what happened. If you, again, watched Super Bowl, you saw Beyonce tease her new album, Act Two. She then released two new songs on Sunday night. It's a country theme, country inspired album. Sounds like it's going to be a little different from uh, Beyonce's previous work. But her producer kind of like hinted to TMZ about maybe some potential collaborations. And TMZ specifically asked about the potential of Taylor Swift being on the album. And this is what Killaby, the producer, he said. Let's just, wait, let's just say she's on the approach of shocking the world when he, when he was asked about featured artists on the album, specifically Taylor Swift. Again, not really an answer. He didn't say yes, he didn't say no, but the fact that he said she's on the approach to shocking the world makes you think, hmm. Now, he did come out on Instagram and said, I never mentioned Taylor, but it will definitely be an amazing album. So again, he didn't deny it. He just said he, he didn't mention Taylor. Um, but a lot of people, again, are like, could this happen? Could this be a possibility? We know that Taylor and Beyonce both supported each other uh, during their movie premieres. Beyonce went to Taylor's, Taylor's went, Taylor went to Beyonce's. They seem to like be definitely friendly with each other, have a close relationship. And the idea of those two collaborating, I think it would break the, break the internet. Also the fact that it's a country inspired album. Taylor, obviously her roots are in country. 
So it would seem like the best time for them to do some sort of song together collaboration. I, for one, would very much love to see it. I think it would be amazing. And also they have such distinct styles of not just singing, but also music that I think the combination would make for something really, really special. Um, and, and as I said, it would completely break the internet. People would be losing their minds, as would I. Let me know in the comments what you think about this potential collaboration, about Travis Kelsey's apology, about Kylie Kelsey's incredible superstitions. Um, and as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.